So this is a book on the streets of our city, and uh, here is a little article about the building of the current educational department of Rivne uh, City Council. And it said that usually on the central streets uh, they were not built uh, educational institutions, schools. But as an exclusion, a special building was built for the Jewish uh, mixed gymnasium Oshviata with Polish language of education. It was kept uh, by the, for the money of the parents and uh, it was in this building. In 1934, I took exams to get into the Polish gymnasium in Sarny, but there was a 10% of Jews were allowed into the school. So I did not make it but I was the first alternative. So my parents sent me to Rovno because to, yeah, there was a gymnasium that they were teaching Polish and only for Jews. It was private and quite expensive. So I was young and they found a place to live for me in a uh, with the family, and I was in this school for the first half year, and I even made friends with some of the girls that I know up till now. Somebody in that gymnasium, and suddenly a girl died, and because I was the first alternate, when I came for Christmas vacation home, I was told that I could be now part of the Polish gymnasium. So I never went back to Rovno, and I attended the Polish school in Sarny until I finished the high school. How old were you when you were here? Well, I was here 13. And I finished high school when I was 17. I am very excited. After so many years, I came back to Rodna and I found my old school. But I am very surprised, but very happy. Symbol of the symbol. This is the museum. Oh my God. This Украинская гимназия возобновилась, когда в 1939 году, теперь по-новому она возобновилась. И она в эту гимназию много картин передала, и теперь эти картины по Украине, по музеям путешествуют. Отца. Отца, да, ее отца. Потому что отца уже нет в живых, а она вот... Дружит с гимназией. Вот там сверху есть, видите, выставка художников, 